Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid with the top stories of this hour. The intra-Afghan negotiations between Kabul and the Taliban have begun in Qatar's capital city of Doha. All stakeholders addressed the opening ceremony. Afghanistan's High Council for National Reconciliation head Abdullah Abdullah said Kabul seeks humanitarian ceasefire to be announced soon. Taliban leader Mullah Baradar Akhan said a future Afghanistan should have an Islamic system. Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shami Mut Qureshi said after Afghanistan, Pakistan suffered the most due to war and now all must be aware of the peace spoilers. United States Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Washington hopes all sides will enjoy cooperation with its neighbors. The Iranian army says it has intercepted three intruding U.S. spy aircraft during the ongoing naval and air exercises. In a statement, Iran's military said the drones left the air defense zone after the locally manufactured Karar drone was launched. Tehran is holding military exercises near the strategically vital Strait of Hormuz and Sea of Oman. Palestine has recalled its ambassador to Bahrain shortly after Manama signed an agreement to restore ties with Israel. Palestinian National Authority's Foreign Minister Riyad al-Maliki summoned the envoy to discuss the aftermath of the deal. Earlier, Israel and Bahrain agreed to establish full diplomatic relations in a second breakthrough between Tel Aviv and its Arab neighbors. India has recorded world's highest daily jump of over 97,000 coronavirus cases and more than 1,200 fatalities overnight. The country's infections have crossed 4.65 million mark, with the death toll reaching 77,472. Meanwhile, Pakistan's COVID-19 death rate continues to decline as three people died in the past 24 hours, taking the toll to 6,373. The coronavirus has claimed more than 915,000 lives and infected over 28.4 million people across the globe. Peru's Congress has approved a motion to begin impeachment proceedings against President Martin Vizcarra. 65 lawmakers voted to impeach Vizcarra, who is charged with moral incapacity over leaked audio tapes and alleged ties to a singer involved in a fraud case. Vizcarra has vowed to fight the charges as the legislature is due to debate and vote on the motion next week. Well, that is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Take care.